so hospital and clinical pharmacy now clinical pharmacy is a branch of pharmacy where pharmacists provide the patient care so when the pharmacists they actually start operating through the hospitals and they provide the patient care so that they can optimize the use of medication it, it can promote well health wellness and disease prevention now this is very important because the physicians are involved more in diagnosis and designing the treatment but at the same time whether the proper drugs are dispensed proper drugs are taken and with the proper precautions and with the proper frequency that is a responsibility of the pharmacist so in the clinical setup the pharmacist is called as a clinical pharmacist now what is the work that the pharmacist does in the clinical setup first of all he does the prescription monitoring so whatever are the prescriptions being given in a particular hospital they always are there run through the clinical pharmacist so he is monitoring them through and through so if there is an error that is left out by the physician then that is to be caught by the pharmacist apart from that he has to record the drug usage patterns and the any toxicity or the side effects that are being seen apart from that he is also responsible for planning the drug purchase plan so based on the statistics and based on the you uh, current prescription patterns he can select the drug uh, to be purchased now prescribing advice to medical and nursing staff see, see pharmacist is an expert on drugs so whenever the medical staff or the nursing trust staff they need some advice about the drugs pharmacist is the right person to do it medication errors and adverse drug reaction reporting pharmacist is supposed to take rounds of the clinical setup of the hospital and he is supposed to point out the medication errors or the prescription errors and adverse drug reaction reporting to the physicians next is history taking pharmacist is supposed to take the drug history of a patient and if in the past if a drug, patient was allergic to certain drug or if he was exposed to certain drug then the pharmacist is the right person to identify that patient education and counseling pharmacist has to speak with the patients and they have, he has to counsel about the right drug to be taken the how the drug has to be taken whether it is to be taken before meal or after meal or whether the drug has to be concurrently taken with other medications or not so all this patient education and counseling the pharmacist has to do now you must have seen that many places now there is a way about respiratory medicine so so many anti asthma drugs copd drugs they are being dispensed now these drugs they involve a specific delivery system for example there is, there are rota inhalers rota caps etc so these rota inhalers they need that uh, need the, some training to be given to the user to properly use it so that type of training the pharmacist can provide then pharmacokinetic and uh, drug, therapeutic drug level monitoring you can say that in many hospital setups the drugs are being calibrated based on the condition of the patient for example a renal failure patient or a liver failure patient so in these cases the drug pharmacokinetics have to be calculated based on the condition of the patient so if the 50% drug is not working the uh, liver is not working then we have to change the uh, based on the pharmacokinetics of the drug we have to change the dosage regime so this is this, for this we have to continuously monitor the drug concentration in the plasma of the patient this is called as therapeutic drug level monitoring similarly he can perform a professional and clinical audit of the drug related services in the hospital so these are the roles of the clinical pharmacist now role of a computers in clinical pharmacy now as we are aware computer is everywhere so the first role we can imagine that of a computers in clinical pharmacy is the patient record management secondly the it can be used for entry the medication orders that is the prescriptions then patient's medication medication profile can be maintained on the computer similarly drug therapy monitoring and problem detection can be done with very easily with the computers then we can record drug drug interactions and adverse drug reactions next we can have automated drug interaction screening that is pedis system then teaching techniques we can teach uh, so lots of drug information through the computer and then building a database of the drugs we can do that similarly inventory control we can do store type of operations we can do with computers Medi we can use it in medical research and we can computerize the drug information system so we come to the topic of electronic prescribing and discharge systems now here you can see a very simple diagram of how a pharmacist is related to a 
uh, electronic prescribing and discharge system. So you can start with the patient. Now patient, first of all, he meets a clinician. Now the clinician will perform the um, uh, diagnosis and he will raise a prescription through query through the computer. Now the computer is connected via LAN. So here it connects to a database and the database it is access, uh, accessing the patient records as well as any drug interaction and other files. Now a new prescription is generated. So once a new prescription is generated it is forwarded to a pharmacist and pharmacist using his computer system here he will verify the prescription and after verification of the prescri uh, prescription the prescription processing will start. Now prescription process, uh, processing will be uh, by um, through the ward stop if the patient is inpatient then it will be through the ward stop and then the prescription will be uh, released for the use of the nurse nurse will use her computer to release the drug from the ward stop and then this prescription as it comes to the nurse she will administer and then administration it will be recorded and then it will be saved into the medical history now if the drug is short then what will happen the stock order will be raised and then a system will convert it, convert it into a stock record and this ward stock re replenishment will be sent out. So this is a complex system. So here the pres entire prescribing and the administration of the medication is used by uh, is performed by using online tools. So here it what it looks like a physician raises a prescription request and he gets a prescription response. Similarly, a pharmacy will get prescription data and it will give prescription response. So there is a e-hub at the center of this system where it is a, com a large computer system which is processing this data. So physician while he is interacting with the computers, he is interacting with a large computer data hub and on the other end of the data hub, the pharmacies are working. Now we can see a very fantastic example of how electronic prescription uh, prescription works now so this, this is a typical dashboard of a physician and here he is uh, given an authority to write a prescription so he what he has selected is a doxycycline uh, 30 capsule ca quantity and he is giving a, uh, asking the patient to take one capsule twice a day by mouth so here he enters the strength the dosage form the route of administration quantity dosage frequency of administration then uh, instructions then apart from that he is allowing refills how many refills should be allowed for this drug uh, start date, date of the therapy end date of the therapy right and all this information he can enter and he can also say uh, tell uh, take with food and etc and then he can save the prescription now once he does the save, save the prescription immediately he is shown a page where the allergies of this particular patient are accounted for for example um, if the patient was allergic to doxycycline then two types of things will happen first of all in the on the top you can see the manual record system earlier days we used to have this manual record system ata ya system madhe kay vhaycha ki the drug allergy vagar kay asel the doctor sitha te lihun thevaycha and here you can see that ki tha jo patient ahe this is he is allergic to penicillin because he has experienced difficulty in breathing after administration to penicillin but आता तुम्ही सांगा की हा रेकॉर्ड कुठतरी फाइल मध्ये दबलेला असणार आहे आणि त्या डॉक्टरनी तो वाचायचा इतक्या कमी वेळामध्ये आणि तो फाइंड आउट करायचा आहे पण इथे बघा तुम्ही काय झाले की ऑनलाईन त्याने डॉक्सिसायक्लिन व्हिच इज अ पेनिसिलिन सो डॉक्सिसायक्लिन त्याने सिक्रेशन केल्याबरोबर त्याने इथे अलर्ट एक रेस केला ऑनलाईन सिस्टमने की ही हॅज अ क्लास एलर्जी टू पेनिसिलिन्स अँड त्याला डिफिकल्टी इन ब्रीदिंग येते त्याच्यामुळे सो हियर the prescription was amoxicillin 1000 mg plus clavulanic acid 200 mg injection contains amoxicillin which is in the class of penicillin to which our patient is allergic. Ata ita doctor decision ghiu shakto ki ya warning la override karai chai kati warning remove karai chai ka to drug badlai chai. So this e-prescribing it is a very complex net and you can see that uh, um, it, it, uh, now you have got automated monitoring, measuring, uh, control, uh, then uh, interpolability, common language system. So, so many parameters are coming in this electronic prescribing and discharge systems. Thank you.